Hi, this is Tej from the Xperia blog and with me I've got a Xperia S handset that we've been playing around with um, and what we wanted to demonstrate quickly was um, a feature that we haven't talked about much and that's USB on the go um, and you can see I've got an adapter here uh, and this particular adapter is a USB female to micro USB male cable adapter. You can pick these up from eBay or Amazon, uh, you know, and they don't, and it shouldn't cost too much money. Um, and a USB stick. Uh, and we just wanted to show how this works natively on the Xperia S. Now they did, it did work if you had a rooted handset on the 2011 Xperia models. Um, but what we have now is native support, no need for a rooted handset on the um, new Xperia phones. And I just wanted to demonstrate how it works. So you can see I've connected the phone up um, in terms of the adapter. I'm just connecting up the micro, uh, sorry, just connecting up the USB stick. There we go. Now you can see the white notification light coming on there. Now you can see here that it's automatically launched um, Astro and that's because the way I had it set was to actually launch it automatically through liveware. So if we go back to, to the menu, I'll just show you that, uh, liveware manager and you can see the USB Cruiser Micro and I've got it automatically launching Astro. Uh, so this is reading the handset. If I just take this and turn it around, you can see uh, the USB activation light is actually reading data at the moment. Um, and if I just pull this down, you can see USB storage connected. And you can see there at the top, external USB storage. Total space, this is a four gigabyte card. I've got roughly 1.8 gigabytes left. Uh, so we've got all the we've got all, um, all the information there. It shows it is connected. Now let me just go back into Astro. Now the way you launch it, I mean, you can see there. You need to basically hit onto this icon here, uh, USB disk. You can probably see. So I click on that. And what I have here, I have a couple of video files. Well, a few video files, and these are 1080p. QuickTime movie video trailers, uh, and there's one Cars 2 um, movie there. But I just want to demonstrate what the you know how that this can play 1080p video with no problem, even if it is actually streaming off a USB stick. So the transfer speed shouldn't be a problem. So let's just go ahead and try and click on one of these and demonstrate what this is like. So as you can see, there's no stutter. It's playing the 1080p video files flawlessly. So in reality, while some are bemoaning the fact that it doesn't have external storage, using a simple adapter like this means that you know you should be able to access a wide range of media content, whether it be music files or video content. And just to show that this isn't a one-off we can go ahead and try and play a, a different video file but the outcome will be the same uh, let's try Prometheus we've been trying a few different video files we've had nothing that makes the phone stutter even though it's not actually coming from the internal memory this is all being streamed off the off the USB stick And remember, obviously the Xperia S has a HDMI output on the other side, so you can easily 
hook this up to your TV and you could be watching flawless 1080p content. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, so there you go. That it shows that. Just wanted to demonstrate USB on the go very quickly. Um, always make sure that when you do disconnect your USB stick, um, just go to the USB storage and always click unmount USB storage. Unmounting, and then you're ready to go. And off you go, and it's not there. So if you then go back into the. Astro folder you'll see that these files will no longer be able to be played so if I try and click on one of these cannot play this video because it's actually gone so these aren't you know these aren't locally on the handset these were on the USB stick uh, just wanted to make that clear if I click on there directory is empty so there you go so another great feature of the phone I hope you like it um, and we'll be bringing some new features of the phone and obviously demonstrating what else is capable of uh, going forward. This is Tej from the Xperia blog, over and out.